Hey everybody, Justice Good here, and a few days ago, a guy named Dennis emailed me and linked me to a photo with an effect similar to the one you see here, and asked me if I could help him make it. So I decided to make a tutorial on how to make that effect. So the first thing you want to do is open up your photo, and just for effect, I'm going to go to Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees, Clockwise. That's not a necessary step but I'm going to do it because it's more like the photo he showed me. Next, I want to go to Image, Adjustments, Gradient Map, and use the default black to white gradient map. This is also an optional step, and you can leave your gradient, or you can leave your photo's original colors how they are. So after you've flipped your photo and turned it black and white, you want to head over to the line tool and make sure it's set to shape layers and use a weight of around 20 to 40 pixels. I'm going to use 30. It depends on how thick you want your line. Now just click and drag and create that shape line and then grab your move tool and position it where you want. Make sure you're holding shift while you are dragging your line out so it's perfectly straight. At this point, you can just hit command J to duplicate and then hold shift and use your down arrow to move the duplicated layer. So all you see that I'm doing here is command J or right click duplicate and then I'm holding shift and using my down arrow to move the duplicated layer and I'm making sure they're all evenly spaced because I'm pushing the down arrow about five times for each one. Now if you want to make things faster you can just merge all of those layers together and then duplicate that. That way you can duplicate five at a time instead of one at a time. But once you've filled up your entire image you want to merge all those layers with command E and position your bars into the center of your image. At this point you want to duplicate your original background layer with command J, drag it on top of the bars and use option command G, the shortcut to create a clipping mask which will create a clipping mask on those bars. As you can see you can also go to layer create clipping mask. Now head over to edit transform and flip this horizontally and you should see that cool inverted bar photo effect that our friend Dennis emailed me and suggested I recreate. Now you can also leave it not flipped horizontally at this point you can flip it back to the original size and you can even leave it in color and that's what it would have looked like but I like the dramatic black and white look so this works well with pictures of mountains or something with horizons but you can try it on any type of photo of your own and let me know what kind of results you get so thanks for watching thank you to Dennis for emailing me this suggestion and I'll see you next time